Cooper here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and I have with me the OnePlus 11 Concept Phone. Now it uses a new sort of tech, it's called Active Cryo Flux. It's an active mechanism that is used in gaming PCs to actually liquid cool the phones. Your phones get hot when you're gaming and that seems to be the future. Even with OnePlus's R&D team, they think a lot of the gaming that we are doing even in India is going to move to smartphones. And that's why you want your phone cooled and charging in record time. And if it looks good while all of that is happening, well then it's not bad news either, right? It's got this LED backlight over here, indicative of how the phone is using liquid cooling tech to ensure that the battery will charge in record time and stays cool while you're playing the next Battle Royale game. You know when you end up watching a 3D movie and you have to put those glasses on and a lot of people complain of a splitting headache. What if I told you that there's now the world's first eyewear free 3D tablet technology, a company called ZTE is making this in China with Nubia, it's the ZTE Nubia Pad 3D, the world's first AI powered eyewear free 3D tablet and I'll tell you how they do it, they do it using AI with these cameras, it's always good to cover good tech and I think this is very interesting, I'll tell you how the output is, well the minute you put any content on this particular tablet, you hit play and even if it's in 2D, and you take a normal file, hit 3D, it processes in a matter of seconds and then you have at this angle only a fully 3D movie. How is it making it happen? Maybe you don't see it from this angle but you see it from this angle and that's your normal viewing angle with one face right here with facial recognition. These two cameras are making the magic happen so to speak. They also have a similar light field technology at the back if you want to use this to shoot content. That same technology exists at the back as well. That's not just for videos like this, what if you want to shoot a 3D photo? Well, this is the world's first AI-powered 3D tablet and you can do that as well. Go on the Leica cam, switch over the camera and we'll show you me and my camera crew right here and you can take a video or a 3D photo. Now, I don't know how much of it you can see but it is quite fascinating that this sort of product is now here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Also, although this is, well, a China product, it does ship globally. So in, come April, you'll be able to order this anywhere around the world. The world's first 3D eyewear free tablet. Interesting? Let me know. Well, speaking of showstoppers here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, I made a new friend. 177 centimeters tall, that's actually shorter than me, but he's standing on a pedestal, the Cyber One, a humanoid robot from Xiaomi. Comes along with the Cyber Dog right over there, a quadruped which can do quite a few neat tricks. But speaking about the Cyber One, the humanoid, Xiaomi actually pipped Elon Musk and his tweets to making this humanoid robot which can recognize a bunch of expressions, emotions by human beings, has all sorts of AI and facial recognition tech inbuilt in it. But that's not all Xiaomi is working on. While this is a showstopper with everyone actually coming to the Xiaomi stall for this, this is what Xiaomi launched here in Barcelona. In fact, we were at the pre-launch event where we found out where this floating telephoto mechanism with this Leica lens, not just a gimmick, and I'll tell you more about that in a bit, but co-engineered with Leica, not just like the other brands who essentially are talking about color science and just some small little marketing partnership. The team that actually worked on this partnership did have an exclusive conversation with Tech Today where we wanted to ask them what they are doing with this device. An absolutely stellar camera. You're going to see a review very soon, but here's a few camera samples on the screen. You have a nice neat little watermark and whilst I'm talking, you have <laughs> cyber dog following me around. I think he's taken a liking for me. But well, that's not all. If you walk around the Xiaomi booth right over here, you see that they've been building on an ecosystem with a smart living room, a smart kitchen, and these are popular products all across the world. A smart workspace as well, something they've been talking about. Barring all the special edition phones and you know some of these interesting Redmi devices as well, is actually their mobility or their smart outdoors department where they've been speaking about an electric scooter. Now this is something that I think can be a game changer when brands start working on this in a wide scale way in India but we'll need regulations 
to figure out how e-scooters being shared will actually work out. I think it's fascinating what's happening in the tech world. This has been one of the show-stopping moments at the Mobile World Congress. And of course, we have my dear friend, the Cyberdog, saying hello to all the viewers of Tech Today.